So where do we start? Well, I think we should start and find out how long it takes to make a flint arrowhead as opposed to a sharpened stick. Let's have a race. You should make some flint ones, and I'll sharpen some sticks, and we'll compare production times. Yeah, and when it comes to testing time, we need to both look at their lethality as well as their accuracy, because they're both important. I agree. So uh, if you're ready, time to dust off those flint napping skills, because if I'm right, it's about 70 years since you've done it last. <laughs> and they're off. First up in this archaeology anecdote, Adam and Jamie go head-to-head -head in an arrow-making time trial. Stickmaker Savage has made a razor-sharp point in no time at all. But Jamie's finding fashioning flint is far from easy. Okay. Three and a half minutes. I, I, I can't even come close to competing with that. There's no contest. Jamie's been shafted. But he keeps chipping away, and an hour later, finally finishes. We've just seen that it takes much longer to make a stone arrowhead. Now we need to find out if that makes for better arrows. And to do that, we're going to start with a simple lethality test. We'll make some more flint heads, we'll make some more pointed sticks, and we'll fire them into a ballistics gel dummy from a point blank range. To make sure that both arrow types are fired consistently, we're going to use the automatic archer that we built for the ninja special. So that's the plan. But what does our resident Neanderthal think is going to happen? <laughs> Well said. So, with the predictions in place, it's time to get to the point. All right, you ready? Go for it. Here we go. In three, two, one. Worked like a charm. <laughs> totally. The sharp stick shot straight as an arrow. But what about the all important penetration? Wow. Mm -hmm. Eight and a half inches. 8.5 inches ain't bad, but will the flint be flung further? Okay, here goes the arrowhead in three, two, one. Look at that. That is pretty clear. The arrowhead went a good inch farther. There's a glint of flint at the back of the bust and one inch more penetration, confirmed by a bunch more tests. But Jamie spotted a problem. The ballistics medium by itself is good flesh analog, but animals usually have fur and hide and things like that on it. So we're gonna run the test again and see whether we get any kind of different results with this on it. Despite the hide slightly hindering both the stick and flint arrows, the results are the same. Uh, actually, they were very close. But is that enough to justify all the effort of making one? This one went in this far, this one went in this far, I mean, <laughs> You're dead either way. Right. However, you know, if you think about the animals that are being hunted, some of them are quite large, and you want a bigger wound. You want it to bleed out faster. So I think the arrowhead makes quite a difference. I mean, if you look here, yeah, look at that. There's the pointy stick wound. It's just a little hole. And there's the arrowhead wound. It's nice and wide. But Jamie isn't impressed. In his mind, the size of the entry wound isn't the issue. In terms of penetration, it was only about 5% difference and yet it took a thousand percent longer to make this one than this one. So it may not just be about lethality, it might also be about accuracy, and that's what we have to test next. Yep, they're leaving no stone unturned for this myth. Nope, we haven't made this up. It's a myth straight from the fan site. For the next viewer myth, a fan wants to know if you can chop down a tree with a machine gun. Oh, just like in the movie Predator, where they mow down a chunk of the jungle. Exactly. Oh my gosh, that's funny you should say that, because every time I go hiking in the forest, and I'm just like, can I cut that tree down with a machine gun? Perfect. You're going to find out. Tree lovers, huggers, and hippies beware. Tories all fired up and ready to uproot this myth with some machine gun mayhem. Machine guns are a formidable weapon and have been in use for over a hundred years. Their deadly spray of bullets, lethal on the battlefield, is, or so the fans claim, the ideal tool for tree felling. 